looked and I'm noticing my glutes are, mm -hmm. I lost two inches. I went from 43 inches to 41. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of it all. I think I said the idiom right. Yes, I'm on point. First things first, we are going to go to uh, Costco and Walmart. It is Tuesday morning, soon to be exercise. I already exercised. Oh, it's still Tuesday morning. So I like to go to Costco weekday morning because I still have a lot of anxiety when it comes to driving. So we're gonna hit Costco, hit Walmart, and then I will show you guys what I got. So let's get to it, shall we? Heaven, Jesus, saved my soul. My anxiety cranked up in there. Just a lot going on. Like my brain struggles with processing moving parts. And it was funny because I was gonna go grab some cheese and this lady kind of cut in front of me, but she didn't mean to because she didn't know where I was going. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And I'm like, no, it's okay. Canadians, Canadians are awesome. <laughs> I love my people. And she's like, Sometimes this place is just way too hectic. I'm like, I know, that's why I'm here on a Tuesday. And she's like, exactly. We're the smart ones not coming on a weekend. But even on a Tuesday morning, this place is insane. Oh my gosh, but I got through it. I'm gonna go to Walmart, but I'm not gonna show you guys that part. I will just meet you guys in the kitchen for my grocery haul. So see you guys in a bit. <sighs> Existing right now is really hard, guys. I'm just always exhausted. But the only thing getting me through right now is God. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. It's leaning on him. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning is that I go to above inspiration, listen to something to get me through because it's hard. And it's hard to really understand a concussion from a car accident or from sports injuries until you received one or know someone who's received one. Yesterday was a big day. It was a horrible day concussion rise, but I was so proud of myself. It was able to work out. I did Caroline Gervin's Beast Mode series, and I was able to go on an hour walk. But after I did the walk in the morning, did the walk first, and then I did Caroline Gervin, <laughs> I got really dizzy. And then I was just being fueled by the spirit. I just kept going. I just had this like spiritual energy within me that's pushing me through. And I was like, let's go do this workout. Did the workout. <laughs> I was happy I did it, but oh my gosh, every time I just got up from the couch, like from standing to sitting, like moving positions from going lying down or standing to sitting, I just got completely like this pressure on my head and I almost like would faint. And this happened for hours. It's tough, it's hard. So yeah, some of you are probably wondering doing OMAD with a concussion. 
doesn't make sense, right? But I can binge and eat all the food in the world and I still feel this way. So I might as well fast and continue on with my life and do OMAD so I'm not binging. It's really helping me to restrict my binging because I'm only eating in a four hour window, sometimes a six hour window. Like yesterday I broke my fast early because I needed energy and I even had some carbs, but I was still able to drop some pounds. So OMAD is super powerful. Anyway, just got back from Walmart. The grocery's sitting there on the floor. I'm gonna put it up for you guys and film it because you guys, pull me through each and every one of you that comes back to my channel leaves me comments saying that I've gained weight too or you know I'm struggling with my anxiety or mental health issues too and just seeing you inspires me I'm doing it for you guys I'm not doing it for the people who want to unsubscribe I'm not doing it for the people who want to dislike my videos I don't give a f because I know I'm going to lose this weight and the amount of weight I've been losing so quickly with OMAD I know I'm going to get to my goal weight. I can feel it. I'm just going to continue leaning on God because he's getting me through this hard situation. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's show you what I got for groceries. Alright, this is from Costco. I got some salmon because of the fat content and again I am doing keto because my body is a pain in the ass. No, I take that back. I love my body. My body's powerful. I love how it can put on muscle so easily. I love my body. That was just a quick moment of changing the narrative. So here is some salmon, wild caught salmon from Costco and I've got some ground beef. Things are racking up there, racking up there in price, but it's okay. We're gonna hang in there. I got some chicken thighs, got some big little bread. Again, you guys seen this bread before. If you're new here, you haven't. It's a very keto friendly bread and it doesn't trigger any acid reflex symptoms in me because I struggle with a lot of wheat products. And this is basically made from organic sprouted whole wheat and it doesn't seem to bother me. And I love the fiber in it. Got some marble cheese because my son requested it. Lazy lunch slash dinner today for my son. I'm just gonna get him salad and then I'm gonna make him some mashed potatoes. Got some organic eggs because eggs is life. Got some mushrooms. Crystal Light is from Safeway. For some reason, Walmart doesn't save Crystal Light, so I just ran into Safeway quickly and grabbed four because they're on sale it's three dollars a pack so yay for that um and i got a big bunch of red peppers i usually have that with my breakfast sandwiches and i also got a major pack of bacon because it's just easier to buy this stuff in bulk and a got a chicken again quick lunch for my son and when i'm ready to break my fast at around 4 to 6 p.m i will probably have some of that now for Walmart, my Quest Double Dipped Bars. Love these bars, very high in fiber. Now for grenade protein, let's, I usually get grenade protein, but let me explain something that happened. So normally I get my grenade protein bars, but I go to Walmart and they haven't been there for weeks. So I'm like, what the hell? So I go to the supplement store that's close where I get my protein powders and everything. They're running out of stock of everything because of the whole supply chain issues. And I talked to the guy that I usually see at the, uh, pro the supplement store, it's like a fitness store. And I was like, where are grenade protein bars? Because I'm really missing them. The story is, if you have been wondering where they went, apparently the boat from wherever their factory is forgot to load the grenade protein bars to bring it to their North American warehouse. So right now we are low in stock for grenade protein bars. Walmart doesn't have it, but they still have the prices on the shelves because it sells and they don't have it at the supplement store. And when I went to the supplement store that day, I wanted to grab some rule one casein 
protein because it really helps me to, you know, when I'm dizzy and nauseous from the concussion and dealing with, you know, recovering from the car accident, I can just have a protein shake. That's running out of stock. They couldn't find anything. So beware, there's going to be food issues coming. Um, luckily here in Canada, we are blessed, but I'm just thinking about the people in other parts of the world who will have issues with uh, food security and all that with everything going on in the world. And I'm just gonna leave it to God and pray because it's kind of scary what's going on. Anyway, I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. Um, but yeah, that's that. So I've been having those Quest bars and they're really good. They satisfy my sweet tooth cravings and nails it right in the head. I don't know if I said the right English idiom. I screw up talking, you guys should notice that. And I'm screwing up even more with this concussion situation. Anyway, back to the grocery haul. All right, grabbed my son some Pop-Tarts. I don't know if he'll eat it, but this kid is having issues. A few weeks ago, I bought him a bunch of cereals from Walmart and he had Fruit Loops. He's been begging me for Fruit Loops for like ever. I guess I'm back to talking. And in our family, I know the men in our family, we have a lot of issues with our digestive symptom system and we have a lot of issues with you know the intestines and all that i know that i know my uncle struggles with stuff and i'm afraid alex might have that problem too so i buy him fruit loops which i don't want to buy him because it's full of sugar bought him all this cereal and then like last week he just got really sick like digestive vibe i'm like buddy we gotta clean up your diet my son is lean he is skinny but i know he has my genetics and i know he's very sensitive to crappy food and he loves his vegetables so um, I'm trying to feed him healthier but it, it can be tough with the concussion because I'm not cooking but I got some things for him for in this haul that I will share with you right now yeah I don't know what they're putting in these cereals but it's just making my son not act right so in his whole digestive system so I got him some potatoes and I'm just gonna make him some mashed potatoes and I got him some rice so we're gonna go back to whole foods for him and avoid things yes i got the pop tarts but he probably won't eat it my son doesn't eat i don't i don't get it anyway i also got him his snacks here those granola bars i got some cream for coffee i got some sour cream because i'll probably be making taco at some point and i'll show you guys that in the vlog got some cottage cheese i've been addicted to cottage cheese lately like to have it with my breakfast oh so good Got some Greek yogurt. I'll be mixing that with my blue spirulina from the reserve. Um, I'll talk more about that later. And I've got some butter, some more fatty fish and uh, sardines. Absolutely awesome. Some corn for the little guy. Broccoli, four eggs, two of them for me. And again, more bread for my kid. I, I, he can't have a big little bread. I don't know why it makes him react, but so far these breads are okay. He loves his raisin bread. And I also got him this Suvaki pack. He's been begging me to get it and it's pretty convenient. So I can give that to him with some rice and some broccoli and cheese. Got some bubbly, my zero calorie drinks. I love these drinks. These save me, keeps me full. Honestly, when trying to lose weight, just fill yourself with air <laughs> in the form of bubbly, which is zero calories, and these drinks that I got from Walmart. Of course, plus chips. These chips are the bomb. I wish they had a bigger bag. I really need to order online, as someone mentioned to me in my comment section in a few videos ago that they sell those in a big pack. I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna buy a few other things from the Quest website, because. I love Quest. They're just a lifesaver. And I think that's everything. So yeah, it is now 1.14 p.m. I gotta pick up my son in an hour. Um, I'm still feeling okay hunger-wise. I'm getting used to this. Um, I've never done OMAD for this long, but like I said, it's just helping me. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you have to do it. And again, I really do struggle with losing weight. Losing weight is really hard for me very hard for me ever since I gave birth to my son and then I developed fatty liver disease after binging for two years because I was in severe pain. You guys know the story. And if you don't know the story, just check out this video. I will, it explains it all, my first video on YouTube. So yeah, I forgot where I was going. 
really. It's really hard to think and focus, especially around the afternoon. But yeah, um, I was talking about OMAD. So it seems to be helping me. It's keeping me in a calorie deficit. It is effective. I don't care what people say. People have their opinions about keto and OMAD, but not everybody understands that everyone responds to things differently. And I've said it before, it is calories in and calories out because I always count my calories. When I lost my 60 pounds really quickly on keto, I was consuming around 14 to 1600 calories. But with OBAD, I'm not gonna share my calories because we're just gonna keep that on the down low because I don't need anyone being like, ah, you're eating too little. At the end of the day, humans can survive on very little, especially me, I'm carrying Tons of fat, especially around my organs. Hello, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So I'll be okay. This is temporary. I know how to maintain weight. And let's just get to the point where I'm at least in wonderland. But we are fighting. We are fighting through the mist of chaos. We are finding our strength. Yes, it's been hard these last couple of months. It's been difficult, but I don't care. I am so motivated to keep going and seeing the scale move is definitely a major motivator. Anyway, I'm gonna go figure out my life and I'll check in with you guys later. If you guys only knew the situation I'm in right now, just being surrounded by a toxic person, a person who just sees negativity all the time. But we have to stand in our power and our power is how we respond to situations. I know I'm gonna get myself out of this situation. I know I will because I believe in myself, but right now I'm in the process of recovering from this car accident and the move I wanna make is going to be a big one. And I will share it with you guys eventually, but I believe in myself. I believe in my ability to get through this by not making the situation worse. I believe in my ability to just make things happen for the way I want to. And honestly, I'm just leaning strength in my journey. I'm leaning strength in you guys, connecting with you guys, and just helping you guys through your struggles. And just God, really, he's truly getting me through. But anyway, let's talk about some good stuff. <laughs> So let's jump into my nutrition for the week and then we are going to jump into some measurements, the weight loss, how much weight did I lose? I'll tell you a lot. So hang tight until the end of the video and if you're enjoying this content, please make sure to like and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I thought I would just plug that in. But disclaimer, when it comes to OMAD and fasting, I have years of experience with fasting and intermittent fasting. When I was a kid, I would naturally fast. I would never consume breakfast. It's just, I don't know, I just wasn't hungry in the morning. My son is kind of the same way. And people have been doing this for hundreds of thousands of years. There's the Aravuda, which is, um, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong, but the Hindus, they fast a lot. Ramadan, fasting a lot. They fast pretty much for a month when they eat with sundown, like people have been practicing this. Even Christians have been fasting for a long time and there is benefits to it. Do I recommend someone start a weight loss journey off with fasting? Heck no. This is what I'm doing. I'm sharing with you how I'm getting the weight off. And another disclaimer, I know OMAD when coming off of it, which I'm not sure when I'll be doing it, but when I do come off of it, I have to be very careful. I have to make sure I'm incrementally increasing my calories. But I have experience with that when it comes to keto because keto is kind of the same way. When you do it for a long time, you can't just go off it and, you know, just go crazy with the carbs. You have to make an incremental shift. So that's my disclaimer there. Anyway, let's talk about the meals I eaten this week with OMAD made chili with vegetables. That was one of my meals for one of the days. Certain days I eat two, three meals. Other days I might have one. It depends on how I feel. For some reason, this is very effective with helping me control my urges to binge. Don't ask why, it just, it just is working. I know there's science behind it, but right now my brain's not optimal right now for me to recall the science and do recall the research, but there's tons of info on how this may help. Again, you have to be in the right state of mind to do this. And surprisingly, considering with all the chaos in my life, I am in the right state of mind. For most of my meals, I usually have eggs with spinach and 
bacon. I've been really into, um, what do you call it, cottage cheese. So I would have that as a meal. I would have yogurt with blue spirulina and some stevia packet from the reserve. And for those of you who don't know, or no one really knows yet, I think I mentioned it in a comment in one of my videos, a pinned comment, but I am, Proud to announce that I'm an ambassador for the reserve. I'm super excited to be working with them over the next few months because I do believe in their products. I actually believe in the power of plant-based powders and getting in those supplements because at the end of the day, it's really hard to get everything we need from the food we eat. And supplements kind of make it easier. Some people may argue that. There's people who don't take supplements, it's great. But for someone who struggles with metabolic disease, mental health, I'm all for using natural plant-based supplements. And blue spirulina helps boost memory, helps the immune system, and also helps with digestion, which is something I struggle with ever since my body went chaotic after giving birth to my beautiful boy who is the best kid ever. Like, honestly, growing up, guys, I was a tomboy. I was a boy, hands-on, and I just love having a boy now because I'm, like, playing with him. I'm playing Roblox with him. I actually started a YouTube channel with him, plugging it in. Make sure you check that out. I started that when I was, like, depressed, and I, you know, I, I enjoyed the process of making videos, but I wasn't into my journey because I was stuck spending time binging and overeating and struggling with the entire concussion situation, which I'm still struggling with but I started this channel with him and it's just really fun hanging out with him. Other things I depended on for snacks were the Quest chips and the Quest bars. Love, love, love those because they nail my sweet tooth cravings. So do the skinny syrups and the stevia that I add to the Blue Spear Arena with Greek yogurt. So I love all that stuff. Like it just cures my sweet tooth, which really helps. <laughs> now let's get to the meat and potatoes of it all. I think I said the idiom right, yes. I'm on point. <laughs> I always screw up sayings, guys. Idiom sayings. Anyway, meat and potatoes. Let's talk about weight loss. Not weight loss, fat loss. And then we talk about weight loss. I have a sheet here to explain it all. Oh, I've been tracking my measurements and holy smokes. How quickly am I dropping inches, especially in my hips? I've been doing Caroline Gervin's workouts. Um, I haven't been really following a program. I've just been dabbing in like 20 minute workouts, 30 minute workouts, depending on how I'm doing that day with the concussion. Um, usually after a workout, I'm done. Like I, I just lose focus. It's hard for me to cognitively function. It's tough, but like I said, you just, if you want something bad, you're not gonna let anything stop you. So I've been doing a lot of her workouts and I'm noticing my glutes are, mm -hmm. so yay. <laughs> so um, with the measurements, my waist this week, I lost 0 0.5 inches. My hips, I lost two inches. I went from 43 inches to 41. And I did notice that because when I've been going on walks with Bo, again, my fanny pack was falling apart or falling down. I'm just like, I literally just tightened this uh, like last week. I tightened this last week and now it's loose again. I put it on today and it's loose. So I'm like, whoa, weight loss happening super quickly. I was, so I lost two inches in my waist. So yay to that. I lost 0.5 inches on both thighs and I gained 0 0.5 inches in my left arm, which is okay because the right arm is 14 inches and the left arm was 13 inches, which I am right arm dominant or right handed dominant. So of course this arm is gonna be bigger. So my left side is catching up, which means me doing those shoulder exercises for my physio exercises have been getting the muscle strength back in my left side. And now for the weight loss. Last week, when I started OMAD, I was weighing in at 223.8 pounds. Today, I'm sitting at 218.8 pounds with a total loss of four pounds. Like that is so effective. I absolutely love it. It keeps me going, the results keep me going. 
and just the benefits that I'm getting with fasting, the longevity, the autophagy, the immune system repair, the deep fat burning, I'm feeling the stomach burning down, the fat around my organs, because I do have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna lie, a few days ago on Friday, I did kind of struggled with the scale because I'm like, I'm getting happy that I'm seeing numbers like 218 and 219, but I started off the year at this number. But then I kind of collected myself and I was like, hey, Daniela, you just went through hell. You're still going through hell. You were binging so badly for the last three months and you turned that all around. It is not easy to turn that around. It is so easy to give up and quit like so many people do. So I better be proud of myself for making myself come back. You know, a setback is just an opportunity for a comeback. And for some reason I strive in very difficult situations. I don't know what it is, it's just what I do. I have it in me. I'm just so proud of myself for turning this around and I know I'm going to hit a new low weight very soon. I know I will. I just gotta continue forward and remember why I am doing this. So, yeah. <laughs> so I have a question for you guys. I'm thinking of doing Vlogtober or introducing live streams within it, like doing that. So would you guys be up for a vlog tober where I pretty much post one video a day? Let me know in the comments below. I'll probably put out a poll later on this week. But I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone being here from the bottom of my heart. I just want to inspire you guys to just shine a little light in your life because, you know, sharing my story, sharing my struggles, it's hard, it's hard to be vulnerable, but I know how it is to be in the depths of depression. And I know there has been times where I would seek on YouTube or at a blog or online, just someone who is in my situation so I don't feel alone. So that's the reason why I share my journey. I don't want you guys to feel alone. I want you guys to know that you can come through whatever difficult situation you may be in. You are so powerful, you truly are. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough, but I promise you, you'll get to a point if you don't give up that it will become just natural to you and become habit anyway if you made it this far into the video it's gonna be a long one I apologize but YouTube likes it when I make longer videos anyway let's just drop in a bunch of yellow emojis because yellow is a color of hope it's a color of happiness and there are sunny skies coming ahead for us all. Just hang in there, guys. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. I have no idea what vlog I'm gonna do, but we'll figure it out. Bye! <laughs>